Hello and welcome to the weekly news episode. In today's news, the new Swift has landed, the Fiat 500 is still going, and what exactly is going on with South Africa's petrol price? Editor, music, advert, go. What's the car with cars.coza? This is Karen. Her name's not really Karen. You just know the Huta on her car is really well used. Beep! Now think of a car, any car. Yes, we have it. Cars.coza. Let's find what moves you. First up, the brand new Suzuki Swift is here. Now, if you weren't aware, we at Cars at Coza, we're big fans of the City Slicker. It's won quite a few awards from our Cars Awards program. It's easy to understand why. Yes, it's an entry-level car, but it doesn't drive like one. Plus, the value for money is extraordinary, and it's just a great, fun little car to drive. So, what are we getting? Five derivatives, and there's a brand new engine. Same as before, it's a 1.2 litre petrol engine, naturally aspirated, but for the new one, they've chopped off a cylinder. So, but when you look at the numbers and the outputs, 61 kilowatts, 130 newton meters. Those were the outputs of the old one. This new one, 60 kilowatts and 112 newton meters. So you're getting much of a muchness with one less cylinder. Interesting, isn't it? As before, customers can choose from a manual gearbox or an automatic option. However, for this new model, they've ditched the AMT and switched to a CVT. Of course, at this end of the market, pricing is critical. And according to our document, the new Swift starts from 219,000 Rand and goes up to 285,000 Rand. But how does that compare to the outgoing model? That was 213,000 Rand thereabouts to 272. So you're getting a newer car with a bit more features, but more value, still fun to drive for pretty much the same money. I'm getting a pattern here. Just because it's on the cheaper end of the scale doesn't mean there's nothing inside. And even from base level, stability control, six airbags, rear parking sensors, electric windows all around. So basically it's going to be another winner for Suzuki then, isn't it? In our next story, the Fiat 500 has been given another refresh, again. As a reminder, this charming city car, I mean, I love it. I mean, it's got everything you'd love in a little city car. It's been around for some time, three generations, 67 years, and sales figures into the millions around the world. Interestingly, the predecessor had a two-cylinder motor. Yes, it was probably a motor this big, this big, tiny thing. Now there's a 1.2 four-cylinder, and that makes 51 kilowatts, 102 newton meters. There'll be three derivatives, including the adorable convertible. I mean, who doesn't like the Fiat convertible? This is awesome. What a great city car. Pricing, just around 310,000 Rand. I don't think that's bad, but when I went into the fine print, I didn't see any mention of a service plan, which is not great for a brand that has a reputation for roller coaster reliability. I mean, how many times do you say, oh, I bought a Fiat? Oh, but it's going to break down. You're going to wait six months for parts. Yeah, if I had five Rand for every time I heard that, I would have had two Fiat 500s by now. That being said, the little Fiat 500 to me is a good option if you're doing those little urban commutes, trotting around the city. And it wasn't exactly the best seller. I mean, 25 units a month for Stellantis in all of 2023. I mean, that's, that's not shooting the lights out and the sales figures, is it? But if you're wanting the ultimate in La Dolce Vita, Fiat South Africa will be bringing the electric version and it'll be touching down in South Africa before the end of the year. Finally, I hope you've been keeping an eye on the petrol price over the past few months. I mean, I have, I like driving around and I hate paying above and beyond what we should be paying for petrol. But according to the Automobile Association of SA, continued reductions, I mean, we've seen price of petrol coming down consecutively in the past four months. Based on press releases sent out, unleaded 93, 95 diesel and illuminating paraffin has dropped. This is awesome. So why is this happening? Well, the international price of oil has dropped and the Rand dollar exchange rate has improved in our favor. Now, we buy our oil in dollars. So when you have a cheaper oil price plus a better exchange rate, I mean, it's a win for us. Let us also remind ourselves that consumer inflation is at a three year low. So this is, this is fantastic and long may it continue. However, I would just like to point out to all those retailers, it would be nice if the price of groceries could start becoming cheaper as well because the petrol has come down, the diesel has come down, why is the food not coming down? But this is Cars Arcosa. Let's get back onto the car stuff. So if you have an interest in the petrol price, we at Cars Arcosa, we track all these fuel price changes and you can be assured of the latest updates being fed to your socials and beyond the site. And I'll link that article in the description below. That wraps up this week's video. Of course, additional info and all the latest specs and pricing on both the all new Swift and updated Fiat 500, as well as all the detailed look at fuel price changes can be found on Cars Arcosa. And as always, if you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, Head on over to our website. 75,000 vehicles for sale. See you next week. Okay, bye. What's the car with cars.coza? This is Karen. Her name's not really Karen. 
You just know the Hutana car is really well used. Beep! Now think of a car. Any car. Yes, we have it. Cars.coza. Let's find what moves you.